In your border news, new FBI crime stats suggest Texas border communities are safer compared to other Texas cities. Congressman Henry Cuellar, who represents Star County, says he compared the data and says the murders and violent crimes for fiscal year 2023 were once again lower in Texas border communities versus other U.S. cities. While the national murder rate was 5.7 per 100,000 people, the murder rates in Brownsville to El Paso were below that. The cities, I believe every single city along the border, is lower than the national crime rate of 5.7 murders per 100,000. And if you look at violent crimes, same thing. Uh, so it's important to note that year after year, the crime rate at the border is lower than interiors. In fiscal year 2023, Brownsville's murder rate was 4.2 per 100,000 people. McAllen's was 4.8. Rio Grande City, no murders there. Cuellar says he's taking issue with lawmakers who come to the border and say it's not safe. So all those politicians that come in and do photo ops in, uh, along the border, where it's in Valley, El Paso, Laredo, uh, Eagle Pass, wherever they come from, uh, you just come in and take a photo and then take off and then you blast uh, our border communities. But again, you need to look at your own backyard, whether it's in the interior of, of the state of Texas or in other parts of the state uh, of the country, our crime rate is lower and it's a safer, uh, safer community. Violent crimes like manslaughter, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault are also lower here on the border. We have details on borderreport.com.